That poor soul. He fought and died with honor, defending his home and loved ones. He's not breathing! Go find a healer! It's too late. He's gone. No! You shiver at the thought of a radiant future. Goblin and tiefling may reap slaughter upon one another until none remain. If you guide them true. I'm sorry for your loss. It all happened so fast. May the light guide his soul. Someone's going to pay for this. Arka, no, wait! What are you doing? I hope her grief does not bring her to do something foolish. Glad you made it inside. Doubt we'll be safe here for long, though. There'll be more coming. Goblins hunting packs. This is a tactically sound position. You could hold off a horde of goblins from here. Maybe, but we're not fighters. If they broke through, it'd be a massacre. The sooner we leave for Baldur's Gate, the better. How far are we from the city? If the road was clear, a ten days walk, maybe? But while the goblins are out there, it might as well be the other side of the world. I feel like we're being watched. Why did this keep happening? He was joking about Octa Soup just a moment ago. Come on, Ricker. Now what? We dig a hole and be done with him? We... We could say a prayer. We should have time for that. Yeah. Yeah. That would be good. Not now. Please. Let's set up a temporary camp here. It should be fairly safe for now. So, not a tentacle to be seen. I'm hoping it'll stay that way. Naturally. But I was thinking, what if it doesn't? Of course, first sign of change, and I'll have to stop that pretty little heart of yours. I am open to suggestions. Knives, poison, strangulation, whatever you'd prefer. This, this man, man has, has some, some twisted, twisted thoughts, thoughts, though I'm, I'm not, not sure, sure I'm one to cast, cast judgment. judgment. I'm not really sure. How would you like to go? I don't think poison is for me. Nor stabbing, come to think of it. I always felt decapitation was a fine choice. One good swing and then nothing. <laughs> but we were talking about you. What'll it be? Decapitation sounds good, actually. Fairly quick and painless. Well, unless they botch the job. A fine choice. Now, to use sword or axe. Or saw. Hmm. Well, I'm getting ahead of myself. This is all a worst case scenario. Obviously. Obviously. But that won't happen. I won't let it happen. 
If the last day has taught me anything, it's that the impossible is more likely than you think. Now, let's get some rest. The sooner we start tomorrow, the better our chances of keeping this hypothetical. With haste. Abominations grow inside us. Our bones should ache, our mouths should bleed, yet we thrive. It is madness. Keep your rest short. Time is not our ally. I couldn't help but over here... Well, all right, I could have helped but didn't. Anyway, I feel the same. Other than the occasional mental exchange, it's almost as if we're not infected. The voice on the ship told me I'd become a beautiful weapon. What do you think it meant? A beautiful weapon? Strange. I don't know. But perhaps Helsin might, if we can find him. Agreed. We can't take the lack of symptoms for granted. All right. I've kept you from your blanket long enough. Rest well. You too. pimple is just right of your nose, but don't stop on my account. Be with you in a moment. I can't say such frivolous use of magic is truly wise, but I'll admit it's a neat trick. Not a trick, my friend. Magic. Be that as it may. Ceramorphosis. What does it make you think of? First and foremost, I'd have to say that damn tadpole. Spot on. Day one, fever and memory loss. Day two, hallucinations and graying skin. Day three, hair loss and blood leaking from all orifices. Need to go on? I'm not squeamish. Go on. Day four, excruciating pain as the skeleton and organs reform and reposition. Day five, the host personality has disappeared. Fingers and toes and limbs elongate. I take it you get the picture? I do, but you might as well finish the picture. Day six. The flesh around the mouth splits to make way for tentacles. Day seven. A mind flayer is born. This is the annotated version, of course. Strange. We should be having a fever by now. Graying skin, even. Spot on again. Our orifices remain blissfully unblooded, our heads remain clear, and our blood temperature normal. Any expert will agree this is... abnormal. Have you any theories why the symptoms aren't manifesting yet? That, alas is where my knowledge fails me. A rogue might call it luck, a priest might call it fate. As for myself, I'm a pragmatic. I see the silence before the storm. Something to sleep on. We should get some rest. Thank you, and good night, Gail. with sickly dreams a deep dread floods you though you have a tadpole you know your broken mind is not like the others who bear the worm a few scraps of the past come back to you now and then but you can never quite tell where the knowledge comes from inexplicable violent yearnings overwhelm all other thoughts who could you possibly be to be their vessel more, More damnable, damnable nightmares. nightmares.
These dark urges, they're so strong, so desirable. My oath, the tenets of the ancients. I can remember these, I feel them deep within. They were important to me. The oath you awoke with is some faded instinct. What does it even stand for? The lingering traces of your battle intuitions are there. But the sly urge within calls you to use them for harm. You recall waking up, hearing the pounding war drum of blood. Kindle the light, shelter the light, preserve your own light and be the light. There must be a way through this red fog. As you fall asleep, you are a shivering and shaking mess. I must hold to these tenants lest I lose myself to darkness. Blood. 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 Kindle the light. Shelter the light. Preserve your own light and be the light. of irresistible desperation about you. I like it. I think it would be best if you stay here in camp for a while. Oh, darling, I'm hurt. I thought we had something special. I need someone to watch the camp while we're gone. I guess I'll spend my evenings lounging here while you do all the hard work. It sounds awful. Something's on my mind. Chuck, be wary of false promises. The missing druid, Halsin, was it? He may be talented, but only a Githyanki Zathis can cleanse an embedded tadpole. Are you sure a crash is our only path to a cure? Entirely. I was as devoted to my studies as I was to my training. Each crash contains a Zathisk purification device. So I learned from the writings in the Kaleer Library. The library was a gift from Vlakith herself, that we may gain total understanding. Books are fallible, as are those who write them. Not books. But slates. Wisdom so profound it is etched into stone. Truth as perfect as the queen who decreed it. Countless scholars roam the astral sea and beyond, observing the ways of our lessers, exploring planes so distant order turns to chaos and cold fires rage. The planes are ever quaking and their peoples ever shifting. The Githyanki possess an eternity of knowledge. Yet we still collect more, infinities upon infinities. Do you know much about Mind Flayers? I understand much beyond your comprehension. More to the point, I know the cure for our condition. It is imperative we locate a crash. You do well to observe more and question less. Hmm, I'm sure. Do you know what happens if we don't find a cure? Yes, in great detail. It starts with a fever and memory loss. Then you start to hallucinate. Your hair falls out and you bleed from every orifice. Your bones will change form. Your jaw will split to allow room for four great tentacles. All skin will turn to gore and be shed to reveal new flesh underneath. Then you have ceased to exist, and a Mind Flayer is born. A bit overly, overly dramatic, but that's, that's in line with Gale's assessment as well. That's not going to happen. We will find a cure. Words forged in steel. May your actions express the same metal. We must find my kind and be rid of the parasite. It's as simple as that. 
The first symptoms should have long since started, though. That is what puzzles me. You're worried we haven't changed? This seems like good news to me. Yes, if you give it no further thought. But anomalies lead to surprises. Bad surprises. Besides, what hasn't happened may yet come to pass. Pardon my saying so, but you look so... unusual. Githyanki are rare in these parts. I expect I am your first. I know of Githyanki, but I've never met one. Not that I recall, at least. Of course you haven't. They would have cut you from navel to neck. You are no less alien to me than I am to you. I know of your kind, but I do not often encounter them. That large, fleshy nose of yours looks like a mistake. Really? Thanks for noticing. I find using it as a sundial to be quite useful. It was an observation, not a compliment. No matter. I do not intend to stay long in this place. My past is a mystery to me. Could the parasite have caused memory loss? Ceramorphosis takes all of you. Mind, body, soul. An ordinary tadpole would eat at your memories until they were lost to the void. But our tadpoles are far from ordinary. I wonder if another fact is in play. I've had these... urges. I feel compelled to kill. Many a good warrior savors the scent of blood in the air. There's no shame in a capricious murder now and again. Too many, though. And you waste energy and dull your weapon. My suggestion. Attack with purpose and savor your kills. And if the urge proves too much... Well, I'm sure we can find you a goblin or two to carve up. That's morbid. Anyway, you should travel with me. It is done. This is about your precious borders gate. I care about our lives, our futures. No, you just care about your stupid apprenticeship. Take that back right now. Pels, we can't just leave. They're kin. I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blades and spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. These people aren't fighters. We can help. Or yell louder. That's fine too. Where the weak have need, the strong have a duty to help them. You should stay and aid them. Just like I was saying. I don't want all these lives on my conscience. We need to stay. Zerka. Fine. We'll stay. If we survive, it'll make for a good story, I suppose. Thank you, Roland. Again. Refugees, adventurers, no one in years, and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met. And thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. Well met and thank you. Are you really locking down the grove? I know it's drastic, but more monsters seem to terrorize this region every day. What about the people living here? We druids will be safe. As for those that took refuge here, well... May Sylvanas guard them as they continue their travels. You just said the region's overrun by monsters. They won't survive by themselves. As I said, it's a drastic measure. But the survival of the Grove is paramount. There just aren't enough supplies to support everyone. I see. What are you selling here? Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. 
Sylvanus, guide your path. This place is a bloody death trap, not a sanctuary. You should clear off while you can. It's getting to me. If we left, we could at least make a run for it. It's the swordsman who helped earlier against the goblins. I meant to thank him. Go on. Give me a best shot. Not bad. Again. I can't do it. I'm not like you. Umi, I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. It's good advice, little one. You do well to listen to his wisdom. Hmm. <laughs> You're on the right path, Umi. Go on now. Practice what you've learned. Well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your sh The man's smile bends downward, and his thoughts become yours. You are the Blade of Frontiers, racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe hell. <sighs> Hell's great fires. You are on the ship. I was aboard the Nautiloid, yes. That woman in your thoughts, who was she? You saw her then. Advocatus Diaboli. Advocatus Diaboli. A devil's advocate. A champion in the blood war between diabolical forces and demons. Her name is Karlak. An archdevil soldier I swore in my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship. But the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her. She'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. I understand, but you have a Mind Flayer tadpole in your head. Doesn't that worry you? I'd be a fool if it didn't. I know the stories. Doomed to shed my skin. Become a Lithid. And there's no coming back. But I haven't sprouted any tentacles. Least not yet, thank Balderin. Could just be good luck. But sooner or later, it's bound to run out. Then you should join me. We'll search for a cure and rid ourselves of these cursed things. <laughs> I like your thinking. Besides, I watched you fight at the gate. I could use an ally like you. Ready when you are. Hmm. <laughs> The famous Blade of Frontiers in the flesh. Clever, this hero act you've got going. Hero, Blade. Name strangers gave me. My friends call me Will. Excellent. If we ever become friends, I'll know what to call you. Oh. Uh. Right. Uh. Go for the heart. Next time the goblins come, I'll be ready. Don't push it, kid. If you see trouble, then run. Only fight if you have to. This is boring. We should train against real goblins. Again. I saw you at the gates. You fight well. A few words for the kids. Spare a story or two. I suppose I could do that for the little ones. Be strong, brave little warriors. Above all, watch over your kin. Protect those who cannot protect themselves. Place trust in your brothers and sisters in arms, and you will know victory. Thanks. I prefer when they smile. Swing, no questions. Swing. Can't slow down. And again. 
swing and swing. This Roman technique are terrible. He's going to hurt himself before he hurts his enemy at this rate. Step, parry, strike, damn it! It's just not landing. That's uh, an interesting technique. Having some trouble? Nothing but. Goblins in the wild, out for blood, and the druids in here looking to kick us out. Or worse. We need to be ready for a fight. But I'm useless with a sword. You were in there, boy. And I just... just froze while the wall tore his head clean off. <sighs> Never again. Clear your mind. Past mistakes don't matter. Focus on the here and now, the target, then strike. You're right. I, I need to clear my head. And step, parry, step, step, swing. Yes! Well done. You really know what you're doing. Uh, found this by the road. Bet you'll put it to good use. One last thing, if I may. Don't shout out your moves like that. It spoils the surprise for your foe. Oh, yes. I'll bite my tongue when the time comes. Keep training. In time, you'll make short work of any goblins. Hopefully, it's just the goblins we have to worry about. The druids are treating us like vermin. But I'll keep at it. Thank you. You're most welcome, and good hunting. Better not be cursed. It's the grieving woman we saw earlier. It is a boring. You ain't gonna shoot me. Your hands are shaking. Put it down. She can't fight back. That's the point. Get out of the way! She didn't kill your brother, Arca. You're better than this. Your mind wonders. If the crossbow bolt shot through her mouth, would she taste the metal before she died? Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tiefling. If you ever had it to begin with. Stop this. This goblin is in need of judgment, not vengeance. Let me decide her fate. I cannot allow this. You shall have to shoot me first. Looks like the Absolute sent me a protector. You gonna kill her too? <laughs> you, move! Canon would hate me for this, but he's not here. They took him from me. This won't avenge Cannon. It will not return your brother to you. You're right. I wish you weren't. I really do. Damn you. Damn it! Why do you care if a goblin lives or dies? I care because vengeance eats people alive. You'll grant the goblins two victories this day if you succumb to it. Your soft heart will be the death of us. You'd better be right. It's all right, Arca. Let's go. I'm gonna bite the heads off your kids! And your birdies! Believe it or not, but I witnessed a similar standoff back at the Yawning Portal. Of course, an establishment like that invites all sorts of outlandish entertainments. What's the Yawning Portal? An inn in Waterdeep. Ooh, never a dull moment there. Adventurers come from all over Faerun to try their luck down the well. Leads into the Undermountain, you see. Full of death, danger, vast amounts of treasure. Hard to resist. What was the standoff about? Oh, a drow, a dragonborn, and a cleric of Cyric walk into a bar. Your standard fare. Maybe someone was cheating at cards. 
Maybe it was some weird lover's quarrel. In any case, out came the crossbow, and a hush fell over the entire room. Well, go on, what happened next? I stood up and yelled, Shadow Dark Ale for everyone. The crowd cheered. The tension drained into five dozen tankards, and soon all was well again. In a place like the Yawning Portal, the most powerful magic is calling for a round of drinks. Mind you, all I did was call for ale, but you went and stood in front of that crossbow. Well, I'll drink to that. You're gonna be sorry, every last one of you! Ain't sure why you're protecting me. Don't care, neither. It's too late to make friends warg me. My tribe's coming. They're gonna burn this pretty place for the glory of the Absolute and hang you by your guts. Who is this Absolute you're so fond of? Your god? Goddess! We're burning her name across the face of the world we are. The Absolute is gold from the sky she is. The blessing in the storm and the storm itself. You've caught my interest. Have any holy literature on you I could peruse? My tribe can tell you everything there is to know. Absolute blessed one of our own. Priestess Gut. Got a whole lab set up. Cooks up potions that fix our lads, no matter how much of a beating they take. Could probably stick your head back on if someone was to chop it off. <gasps> Mighty Booyog. Bah! A clever goblin's like a trustworthy geek. A figment of the imagination. Nice story. Did you buy it for a copper in a tavern nearby? It's the truth! I swear on your mother's grave. Get me out of here, and I'll tell you where to find her. Deal? Actions have consequences, Goblin. Perhaps you should use this time in the cage to reflect on that. Suit yourself! Looking forward to seeing what your innards look like! Right, I've got food, water, my dagger. I could use the target practice. Goblins, druids, this grove is a death trap. Grab what you can and get out. That's my advice. You're an idiot. By Mordai's eyes, another one. My friend's blood not enough. Come to rip me open too. In Kresh Kalir, a formal greeting begins with a bow. Is this monster with you? Stand down, Lazel. I'll see to him. You dare interrupt. Has the tadpole ravaged your senses? Well, they were already quite ravaged. Kichoki. Fine. You've nothing to fear. I won't let her hurt you. Thanks. What do you want from me? I need information. Where did you see the Githyanki? On the road, to Baldur's Gate. N near the mountain pass. S saw us, for we saw it. Jammed its blade through Yul's belly. Straight to the other side. And I just... I just... ran. The map. Show me. We really need to work on your people skills. Many thanks for your help. And apologies for my companion's behavior. No hard feelings. I could use the target. Gods, deliver me! The last time a subordinate questioned my judgment, I ate tongue stew that very night. I warned you, didn't I? You ought to reconsider keeping her around before she causes real trouble. Subordinate! You have it wrong. We're partners. You will treat me with respect, as I shall do in kind. Kenyak, 
Your tantrum proves you no wiser than a hatchling. The teethling was clear. If there are Githyanki west of here, that must be our objective. Purification cannot wait. Uh, did you say teethling? I am unfamiliar with the, well, I shall not say culture. Custom, perhaps. You will educate me on matters of this fey run. Um, no. It's Feyrun. What did you mean when you said purification? The Kresh holds the Zaythisk. It will cleanse us of the parasite. By covenant, I can say no more. As you wish. Stop! This place is off limits! Leave! In a secluded place all alone. It would be too easy to do away with her, far beneath your talents. Something is wrong with her. You note her grimace of pain. Something is wrong with her legs. Damn it! Don't... Don't look at me like that! You can stay. Just keep your hands to yourself, all right? I'm sorry. Do you need a hand up? I'd just fall back down. Legs are as steady as a foal's. Bloody potion! She's, She's helpless. helpless. Alone. Alone. I, I could... could I, I could, could make, make sure, sure she, she never, never walks, walks again. again. The symphony already plays in your head. Every toe snapping like a twig. <laughs> No, no, I don't, I don't want, want to, to do this. this. Wretched, Wretched thoughts, thoughts, get, get out, out of my head. head. This, this is not who I am. It cannot be who I am. am. Tell me about this potion you took. Perhaps I can help. From the old lady in the cave. The one with the lotions and potions. To her credit, it worked. I'm as strong as a bugbear. And fearless. Of course she also warned of side effects. Should have listened. Now I'm stuck guarding crates. That doesn't sound like a side effect at all. Please let me try to heal you. <sighs> all right. I guess being fearless won't help if an arrow comes flying right at me. I'll cast a healing spell. It should help. Oh For way. all the bloody things to happen. My foot. It moved. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. You're very welcome. Is that everything? I think that's everything. I told you. Not now. Having fun with your new goblin friend? Bet you aren't. You did the right thing. I hope you see that in time. Don't be grumpy, Roland. We'll get to the city soon. I am not grumpy. Scowl on your face would frighten a troll. <laughs> You're an idiot. Lee and Roland would never admit it, but they take an arrow for the other. Also stab each other. Not sure what will come first. Thanks for cutting in. There might have been more than words if you hadn't. They were both very angry. I'm glad it didn't come to blows. Those goblins will rule the day they chose to tangle with this grove. You and I will do some good here. I can feel it. Thank you. You can count on me. We should have left by now. Damnish! Instead, we're just sitting here, practically begging to be attacked. Staying is a mistake. You're doing the right thing. The tieflings need help. And what about us? There's every chance we've doomed ourselves by helping these people. We will end up fodder for some goblin's blade, all because Leah insists on helping every wounded foe we see. Our best chance to make it to Baldur's Gate is on our own. This place is lost. Why are you so eager to reach the city? You are looking at Laroakan's newest apprentice. 
Yes, that Laroican. The greatest wizard in Baldur's Gate. I've heard that name before. A young man, yes? Lives in Ramazes Tower in the upper city. The very same. Word in Waterdeep has it he's a bit of a cat. But you say he's an accomplished wizard? Of course he is. The greatest spellcaster along the Sword Coast. As if I'd settle for a lesser mentor. In that case, I'd very much appreciate it if you could arrange an introduction, should we reach the city. I think I've heard stories about Morocco. Bad ones. What I do for some Common gossip. The byproducts of ignorance and jealousy. I've admired Laroican for years. Never dreamed he'd answer my letter. But I've worked myself to the bone for this. Few can match me in either magic or talent. The names Roland and Laroican will be known far and wide. You'll see. Not have a word. You! Saw you fighting those slimy bastards. Glad to help. Fancy a bowl? Best to fill your belly now, while we still can. Blazes, why am I thinking about how delicious dwarf stew would be? My thanks. I'm quite famished, actually. Look, it ain't much, but it might make all the difference. The only way we'll make it to Baldur's Gate is to run, and run hard. If a knoll catches your scent, you'll need every bit of strength. Trust me. Hmm. Doesn't taste half bad. Ah, uh, bitch is the talk of the camp. Thank goodness you came along when you... Oh! You're twitching something fierce, love. And your eyes. You look like you don't know the meaning of the word sleep. Auntie Ethel will sort you out. I've lotions and potions galore. Um, thank you. That's quite kind. Are you an alchemist? Oh, nothing as fancy as that. But I come from a long line of women with a dab hand at such things. You take a sip of that, and you'll feel right as rain, sweetie. If you don't mind my asking, what is this exactly? Oh, it's just a healing potion. Nothing fancy. Here. My thanks. You just look like you might need a pick-me-up. I'm sorry to go on about it, but are you all right? You're looking awful peaky. I've been better. It's difficult to explain. Oh, I've seen it all. I once had a fella who'd been caught dabbling with a dryad. The wife was none too pleased and introduced him to a pot of boiling oil. But worry not. I fixed him up and depending on the lighting, he looks good as new. My point is, whatever ails you, I promise I've seen worse. What is it, Petal? What's wrong? There's something awful about my instincts, about my desires. Then let all down the Ethel have a look at you. First things first, tell me what's at you. I know nothing of my past, yet I retain knowledge of my skills, some history of the world, and memory of certain places. My head is in a constant fog. No, that's as serious as serious gets. Our path defines us, Petal. Without it, why, we could be anyone. Were you hurt recently? An accident of some sorts? could explain things. An illithid tadpole wormed into my head, but my companions don't have symptoms like mine. You poor pet! My heart goes out to you, truly! But I confess that doesn't explain all your symptoms. 
Some of the things you told me, what? I've never heard of a parasite doing that. This is serious. I've never a potion or lotion here that could do it, but yes, I may have something at home. Such as? I've collected some interesting bits and bobs over the years. You'll have to stop by my house just at the edge of the forest. Let me mark it on your map. I'll be heading back soon so I can meet you there. Now, do you need anything? I have a few odds and ends for sale. Thank you. I suppose I could buy a few potions. Hey, bother. Be careful on the road. I'd hate if something happened to you. Take care, Peg. Thunder wave. Depends. How many people are dumb enough? Thanks for fighting off those goblins. If you need to replace any gear, just ask. My selection's pretty slim. I had to leave most of my equipment in El Terrell. Forgive me, but from the look of things, your forge is holding on by a thread. You're a smith? Of sorts. Used to be a bread and butter tinsmith before El Terrell fell into Avernus. These days, my talents are more eclectic. Learned a lot in my time in the Hells. Hope to forget most of it. But between you and me, there's nothing in all the realms like the utter power of infernal machinery. Alas, my offerings are far more humble these days. I'll take a look regardless. Damn, druids. Who uses wooden tools, right? 